What's up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a Sephora haul. I've actually had these things for quite a bit, but I haven't gotten around to filming it, so we're going to do it today. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Don't forget to subscribe. Do it right now. So first thing I got was this Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero highlighting kit. This is an old product. It just got re-released. I got it the first time it came out, but I got it and it was damaged. And then when I went back, they didn't have any more, so I just never got it. And so now that it came out, I went ahead and purchased it and see what it looks like. And so I am gonna start doing like freelance work. So I need to have different types of highlighters, blushes and all that stuff. So I figured six in one is a pretty good deal. Next, I got this fragrance. Don't mind the box. Someone backed the driver's seat and squished my box. So we're just gonna throw with it. So I got the, I think this is the flower bomb. I think that's Victor with a K. Yeah. And I got the small one just because I didn't know if I was gonna like the scent. And you guys, I've actually been wearing this. It smells so freaking good. I don't know how to describe it. It smells like powdery, but flowery, but like sexy at the same time, all in one. I just, I love it. So I actually wore this today. Next, I got some Sephora almond foot masks. These are pretty inexpensive. I figured I could do these at home, like on a Friday night when I don't have plans to go out or anything. So it's enriched with almond extract, and it says it nourishes dry feet, softens rough areas, and makes skin supple. I need this. Next, I got mascara. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. And this is what it looks like right here. I actually used this today because I had to go somewhere and I couldn't find my other mascara, so I had to just go ahead and pop it open and use it. And it's actually really good. I like the bristle on it. It separates the lashes really good. Just mascara, guys, but it's good. Next, I got Kat Von D Holographic Palette. So I actually have two of these. The first one I got, I got damaged and I had to call them about it because every time I purchase something from Sephora, something comes damaged. It's inevitable. I call them and have them resend me one. Like, I don't want to tilt it over because it'll just fall out. So they sent me one that wasn't damaged. And this is what this one looks like. And so you can see how some of them change colors. But again, this is just something I can put in a kit so that when I do people's makeups, I have different options. So moving right along, I got a setting spray. So right now I use the Morph setting spray. That's like the only setting spray that I'll use on my makeup because it's the only one that works good for my skin. But I heard some reviews on the Fenty Beauty what it do makeup refreshing spray so i figured i would try this out and it says that you can use it to set your um makeup as well so we'll try it it doesn't smell like it doesn't smell like so the spritzer is decent so we'll see how this works and i'll let you guys know next i got something real basic a beauty blender i have a lot of these i mean you can get a lot of dupes in Marshall, TJ Maxx, and you know, Ross, all those places. They're a lot cheaper and they come with like three or four, well maybe sometimes five in a pack, but this one was yellow, I don't know. I just like the fact that it was yellow, so I just picked it up. Next, I got the Forsalis Skin Tune Blur Perfecting Primer Serum. I actually like went through an entire tube of these. This is really good and it does exactly what it says. It blurs your skin. It makes it extremely easier, like a lot easier for you to put your foundation. So I got one of these. I'm always trying new primers, especially because I'm really dry around my nose and around my mouth. I'm like a little bit like way above my brows. So I need something that's gonna help with that. And then I have redness on my cheeks. So I have a lot of issues going on. So next I got a new concealer. This is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer Pen. And this is what it looks like, you guys. And you just have to push the bottom of it for it to come up. And that's what it looks like. That's the shade. And this is in the shade Creme Brulee. You guys, you know what I needed to figure out? I you put it back down. Oh, well. hopefully it doesn't get ruined. Then I got a Huda Beauty Power Bullet Matte Lipstick in the shade Staycation. 
Okay, keeping with the theme of makeup, I got the, the Guerlain Terracotta Matte Sculpting Powder Matte Finish Long Lasting. Again, I heard some good reviews about this, and this is pretty expensive. So I had bought it when Sephora had their VIB Rogue sale. The packaging is pretty nice. I'm going to be using it as a bronzer. Okay, so keeping up with the makeup, I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation in the shade 220N. I know there's a name for this, but it doesn't say it on here. I'll make sure to leave it down in the description box for you guys, but I heard some good reviews on this foundation as well. And as I told you guys, I use the NARS foundation. That's the only foundation I use. So I'm trying to use other foundations and incorporate them. So this is what this one looks like. So hopefully this will work. I'm pretty good at picking my shade online, so we'll see how the coverage is. Next I got an Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Again, it's just something real simple, you guys, but I am running low on mine, so I had to pick up another one. I also picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. I use this as setting powder for my entire face, and this is what the package looks like. So it does look a lot lighter in the pan, but once I put it on my skin, it does like, it does match. So still on Charlotte Tilbury, I picked up two of her lip liners. This one is in the shade. All right guys, so this first shade is Iconic Nude and this is Foxy Brown. So they're really like neutral colors. I don't wear bright colors on my lips, you guys. It's always nudes or browns. Next, I got the Huda Beauty Tantor Contour and Bronze Cream. I do cream bronze and contour before I apply powder. I just think it gives it a more natural look. This is in the shade Fair. They have like, I think three, three shades. Um, and this one looked like the one that would match me. Well, it won't look too dark and awkward on my skin. So I'm excited to use this because right now I use the Too Faced Cream Contouring and Concealer stuff. Alright, so next I got a Becca Mineral Blush in the shade Wild Honey. I've had this blush before. I dropped it and broke it. This is what it looks like. It's a nice neutral muted pink color and that's generally the shades that I'll apply. I don't like bright. Next, I got Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Shadow. Um, I heard some good things about this. Like, the reviews are really good. So I picked up one of these. I picked up, again, the nudest shade possible so that I could try it out um, just to see how I like it. And if it turns out to work for me, then I'll go ahead and pick up the rest of them. Then I got the Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dream Color Palette. And this is a Manny MUA product. Um, they had it on Sephora. I didn't know that Sephora actually had his products on there. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like. It has a big mirror and some really bright shades. I'll definitely do a look with this. If you guys want to see a look with this palette, leave me some comments down below. Um, and then I'll go ahead and record one and put it up for you guys. So I'm excited about this palette. So the last makeup related product that I got was the Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. Um, I heard some really good reviews on this too. I'm not sure if this is my shade. This one was a little tricky. It was hard for me to pinpoint what my shade was gonna be. Um, I hate when foundation companies or just companies in general when they have their foundation concealer. Like, their shades are not in like chronological order. Like some of the numbers are kind of off. It just throws me off and it makes it like 10 times harder for me to find my shade. I got the shade Light Medium 14. So hopefully this is my shade. I love the packaging. It's really nice packaging. All right guys, and so the foundation does have a pump and that's great because any foundation that costs this much definitely needs to have a pump on it. So I'm excited to use this one. I'll let you guys know how this is. I think this was by far the, well no, this was the second most expensive item I bought. Um, the perfume was definitely expensive, even for this small one. I think it's ridiculous, but it is what it is. 
So the rest of the products I picked up are skin care related. I have been extremely dedicated lately to keeping my skin clean and finding ways to like get rid of the redness on my cheeks and the blemishes that I have. Uh, and then I've been kind of breaking out. Not a lot. I'm trying to get that under control. So the first product I picked up was from the brand Wishful Yo Glow. It's an enzyme scrub. So this is what the package looks like, you guys. It's just a, a scrub. It has pineapple enzyme, papaya enzyme, AHA, BHA, and it says it's for a healthy glow, retexturizing, brightening, and evening skin tone. So I'm excited to use this because again, like anything that's gonna help my skin, I'm all for it. So aside from that, I picked up the Boschia Detoxifying Black Charcoal Cleanser. I wanted to pick up the peel that Abby Abby from Instagram uses. Um, it like seems to work really good for her skin. So I wanted to pick that up, but by the time I placed this order, it was all sold out. So I couldn't get it. So I picked up this one instead. And this is what it looks like. It's supposed to just detoxify your face. So it's supposed to get rid of all your blemishes. A warm gel cleanser that deeply cleanses and dissolves pore clogging impurities, refreshes skin, and refines skin texture. So we'll see if all those claims are true because I need some help. Next, I picked up this Tatcha the Kiss You Lip Mask. And it comes with a little special. I love how all of her skincare products come with one of these so I don't have to put my finger in it because you know sometimes even though we wash our hands it doesn't necessarily mean that you know they're the cleanest it's just exactly what it says is a lip mask I do exfoliate my lips also um, just because you know if you wear lipstick or you know even like you know, kissing people you need to make sure your lips are soft because no one wants to kiss somebody with some hard lips. So then I picked up the Farsali Unicorn Antioxidant Lip Mask. This is what I'm currently using um, during the mornings and at night. Um, if you watched my skin routine for dry skin, you would have seen me use this. I needed a backup because I actually like the way this feels. It tastes good too. I mean, you're not supposed to eat it, but. Then I got the Forsali Haldi Eyes Brightening Termic Eye Cream, and I actually also have this. This is just a backup. Um, if you, again, watch the skin routine, you've noticed that I use this in the video also, um, and I do use this in the morning, so don't use it at night, but I think I'm going to start using them at night as well, just to see if I see a better result. So I'll let you guys know. Then I got KNC Beauty All Natural Collagen Infused Lip Mask. Um, this is a five pack. I actually got these um, before in a boxy charm, and I love them. So I figured I'd pick up a pack, and this is what it looks like. It comes with five lip masks. It says it conditions, moisturizes, plumps, and hydrates your lips. It's all natural, no paraffins, no sulfates, no artificial dyes or fragrances, no animal testing. And it says you're supposed to apply it to your lips for 15 to 20 minutes and use two to three times a week, you guys. So excited to keep using these. We're down to the last three products, you guys. So I got the Glow Recipe Banana Sofe Moisturizing Cream. It's calming and hydrating. Um, I currently use the Palms the Pond's Moisturizer, um, and that you guys can find like CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, you know, like drugstore um, locations. And so I heard some good reviews about this. Hopefully they're all true. I actually have another product from them. It's the Avocado Night Deep Mask Moisturizer or something like that. Um, and it's really good. It does hydrate me at night. Uh, this smells like bananas, you guys. Like, like bananas and something else, but I don't know what else it smells like. I definitely smell the bananas. But this is supposed to moisturize your skin. And so again, I don't want my skin to get accustomed to just one thing um, because then I feel like it stops working after a while. So I kind of want to switch in between different things. Um, I might just use certain things in the morning and certain things at night. Um, and so I'm definitely going to incorporate this into my skin care routine.
So then I got the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. It's glowing, radiance, and softening. Um, and again, I already have a sleeping mask, but I figured I could alternate between the two. Okay, so next I got the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. It's glowing, radiance, and softening. Um, I already have a sleeping mask that I use, but I want to alternate in between these two. It comes with a little spatula. I love these little things, you guys. These are the best. This is what it looks like. Love the packaging. It's cute packaging. But hopefully this works. So lastly, I picked up the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I currently use makeup wipes to wipe away my makeup, but even when I use makeup wipes, it feels, it leaves that residue and it leaves my face like super sticky, dry, irritated, and I use sensitive wipes and they still do that. So I figured I would pick up this Melt Away Cleansing Balm only because I've seen Juicy Jazz on YouTube use it and she says it works. So I figured I'd give it a try. And it comes again with its own spatula. You guys don't realize how handy these are. Like, they really are handy. Put the spatula in, just get your makeup off. Hopefully this works. I really would prefer, I would really want this to work, you guys, because that would mean I don't have to use makeup wipes anymore. That's great. So it says the nourishing facial cleansing balm that melts away makeup and pollution residue. Even the boldest eye makeup and long wearing foundation are easily removed, leaving the skin hydrated and silky smooth. And it says to gently massage onto dry skin for eye makeup removal. Apply to closed eyes. You rinse it with warm water and wipe off with a damp cloth. Super excited to try this. I'm actually going to try this after the video because I've had this makeup on for a couple hours. It doesn't feel like sticky or anything, but it is pretty light and I kind of want to lay down. I don't like to fall asleep with makeup on, so I'm going to try this on before I get in the shower and I will update you guys. I'll probably post something on Instagram or Snapchat letting you guys know whether or not this works since I am going to go ahead and try it. So look out for that. Alright guys, that was everything that I got from Sephora. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you guys can tune in for other videos that are coming up shortly. Make sure you guys like this video and leave me some comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!